Alright, welcome to another vlog how to build video today. So, today, I'm going to take this tailgate right behind me here, right there, and make a tailgate bench. So, I have a few uh, measurements in mind, and I'm going to start cutting some steel right now, and uh, we're, we'll go from there. So there's my pieces, doesn't look like much. So there's the main back support. So what I did, I got everything from quarter inch down to zero, but I'm not gonna cut all the way through. So what's gonna happen when I cut this out, I'm just gonna take this that's still remaining, this front one inch piece, and bend it back to that flat edge, which will give me an offset like that on an angle, which is about close to I think 10 degrees, something like that. That's a nice one. Look at that. What do you know? I don't know much. So there's my slot. So what happens now, that's going to be the back piece right there. And then it comes straight down like that. So I just got to weld that up. So that's my design right now. So I have it so that the seat part tapers like that. And the same with the armrest. And then back here is going to be where the tailgate gets mounted. So what I've done now is uh, marked where I'm going to cut. I'm going to do the same thing, similar to the same thing I did for the back rest. So this is your arm rest, right? But I'm going to flip it this way, one inch by two tubing. So that tapers down to one inch, which is the thickness from here to the top. So on the side, you can kind of visualize that this is going to be in the center, right there. It's going to be a smooth contour, and then I'll uh, cap the end there. Probably put a little radius on it once I'm done welding. So there's my shape, right? So, this is pretty hot right now, so I'll just show you. So something like that. I mean, I'll still have to work the stainless here, but it tapers back to one inch. So there's the tailgate. I mean, I still got to take this uh, aluminum panel off see what she looks like underneath but I asked put an ad on Kijiji for some patina and I got my patina pretty happy so I'll just uh, feather that back you know so that that uh, paint peel isn't sticking up when I go to clear I'm gonna rust convert all the bare uh, surface rust and uh, it's actually pretty mint but it's solid a little beat up in the back but it's an old tailgate you're not gonna see the back of it anyway 66 inches long. You believe that shit? You can fit like three people or two big, two big BBWs. Oh, you know me. Loving ass. Ah. Got a problem. So, unfortunately, I already went ahead, but I'll show you my second one that I'm doing. The tailgate has this uh, angle on it. From here, and it tapers back. Well, when you put the piece of stainless, it shoots out forward, looks like complete shit. So what I did, that's my first bend, did the exact same thing, quarter inch to zero. You can kind of see how much better that looks. So I just uh, took that off, eh? And, uh, oh no, <laughs> I like it like that too, but I think that adds a little more character. Nice to break up the solid color as well. And plus it'll probably match the stainless sides. But, shit, that's not bad, eh? I think it's like a, off an 80-something, 80 82, 83 maybe. That's what he told me, but... Look at that. The letters are still embossed. So, another weekend in the garage here. Ran out of argon last weekend, so I couldn't continue to tack. So now we're still tacking. Let me show you. So 
that's the main shape, that's your armrest, that's going to go there, I got my square clamped on the table, this is the front leg, just trying to figure it out, I'm going to measure from here to here, to make sure it's the same measurement, then I'm going to tack here, tack there, and then we're going to start welding her out. So there we go, it's all tacked, I uh, put a radius right here on the top, and I uh, take all the bat first before I tacked it. Looks good all the way around. So now I have to mirror that and make an identical one. And then I can put the tailgate in between and then take a measurement and drill some holes to mount it and we'll be on our way. So I uh, got this all tacked up and I'm going to drill my holes for my uh, 3 8 bolts. Alright, so what I did drill the hole there, 3 8 I'm going to tack that nut in there. That way I'll have something to thread into. From okay, so I got these pieces tacked in. So this is from a pallet, right? So I'm going to have that actually flush with the tube there and the tube there. I'm going to still got to sand these and stain them, but I still got to put in uh, like a piece of stainless angle at the back and the front here to keep the boards in place. So I just uh, plasma cut the square tubing so it's uh, you know, it's like basically two pieces of angle, if you know what I mean. It's hot as hell right now. Got a banana in her, but we'll uh, straighten that out when we tack it to the back, and then we'll have something to put the wood on, and then drill holes and bolt the wood on to it. Anyways, I'm tired right now, so thanks for watching part one of this uh, vlog uh, tailgate build. Until next time, cheers. Expect the unexpected.